All right, everybody. Today, a little special something. You know, I've been making some growlers and stuff, and uh, I was trying to think of good ways to uh, make stoppers for them instead of just relying on corks, because cork it's not going to do great for keeping beer in. So <clears throat> the idea I came up with was to make a swing top lid for the growler. So this is just made out of wire and um, you know it's got a little rubber gasket or a silicone gasket here and then everything else is made out of wire. It works like one of those old you know jam jars. <clears throat> so yeah, you know, just this, the simple uh, jam jar closure like that. So anyway, I thought I'd uh, show you what my little process was for making these, so get your tools ready. Um, for this, we're going to need, uh, these are round um, nose pliers for bending wire. Uh, these are just uh, heavy duty wire cutters. These are piano wire cutters. Really nice. <clears throat> um, this right here. This is 12 gauge um, wire. It's a galvanized steel. Um, this is sold at Home Depot as a kind of, uh, I think it's for hanging pictures, but I mean, this is pretty heavy duty stuff to be hanging pictures with. Maybe if it was like a 150 pound picture. But, uh, but yeah, so this is really cheap. I think it's like 10 bucks for a roll of like, 100 yards or something like that. 50 yards maybe. So yeah, you need that. <clears throat> and then uh, really helpful is if you have an old jam jar to uh, get yourself the little wire assembly from it so you can use this as kind of a um, template while you're making yours. So. Um, <clears throat> I made one a while ago just by, I just um, took off like the regular wire enclosure and I just practiced bending on a, a jar I got from uh, the thrift store. So yeah, this is a La Parfait. I think they are pretty much the main brand that uses this type of enclosure, but yeah. So I just practiced on um, an old uh, jam jar first and then um, I went ahead and bent the um, bent the prototype for the growlers last night. So I figured I'd uh, give you guys a, a little look at what the process is. I have another uh, jar here. <clears throat> um, you can see here the uh, there we go. The neck has a little groove there about the about the size of the wire. It just needs to hold a part of the wire because it's going to be tight on there. So anything to stop the wire from pulling up. Um, this is the lid. It's got, there we go. It's got a similar notch in it here. Um, I just threw this on the wheel, you know. Um, but ahead of time, before I started um, throwing these or anything, I bought some of these, uh, these are like tapered silicone gaskets. They're used in um, breweries and they're food safe and all that. <clears throat> and they work really well for keeping the liquids in. Uh, this is a one and a half inch um, internal diameter here. So when I, th when I threw this, I had to kind of compensate um, for the 12% shrinkage. It wasn't, I mean, it doesn't have to be perfect. It, you just don't want it to be smaller than the, the gasket, but the gasket will uh, stretch when it goes over it. So, yeah, this just uh, snaps on there, kind of. It's held in place by ten, the tension of the gasket. So, yeah, um, let's get to it. I'm going to resituate my camera here and uh, give you guys a better view of what's going on. Alright. <clears throat> so
So to get started, what I like to do is just um, take this old um, jam jar one and look at the different pieces. So we've got um, so we've got the part that it goes on on the bottom like that. So it's a pretty simple bend. Um, there's just like a little loop here and then it goes around and meets there. This is a little <clears throat> bracket here that slips over these like that and it kind of holds tension there and it keeps these from coming apart while you're opening and closing and we've got the upper assembly here this is just uh, a really simple bend this one just has two loops on it and then it's just a circular you know goes around the uh, form and then this is the closing mechanism right here. <clears throat> um, this one is a little bit trickier because there's tighter bends, but it's not too bad. So uh, we'll get started here. So first order of business is get yourself a nice chunk of wire. This stuff's cheap enough that you can um, pull off it, whatever you need and then uh, cut off the excess. So it's easier to bend wire when you've got free ends to, um, to add leverage with. So Just the uh, focus there. All right. <clears throat> so the first one I want to bend is this lower part that goes around the um, bottom half here. So uh, I start with the most complicated area, which would be this here. You don't want to bend from one free end to the other free end. You'll <clears throat> have a really hard time getting it right. So, if you imagine this unbent, this is just um, a square that's been curled up and then um, bent around an object. So, what we'll do is just uh, straighten out a little spot here, and then <clears throat> um, if you have like uh, normal needle nose pliers, which I think I've, yeah, I brought some here. These have a squared edge, so it's easier to bend a corner. Um, you can use that. Um, so I just kind of bent a squared, squared off shape there. And then uh, to keep these from getting in the way, I'm just going to straighten them out a bit. Otherwise, they'll get in the way of each other. All right. This does do a number on your fingers. Um, I have a band-aid here because there's a big blister right here from me bending last night. Okay, so we've got our um, squared off section here. This is the front um, hinge. And then um, with your round wire benders, you just uh, squeeze down here. And do a full circle. sides there <clears throat> and then you can kind of pinch each side into place okay so we've got that bend there 
now. Um, we need to bend this out, so we'll do that. So we've got that bend. Um, you can always uh, adjust this back into a straight line, um, you know, after the fact. <clears throat> so we've got this now. So now we need to bend these into a circular shape. And this is the part that um, takes some fiddling. Um, I just kind of go, kind of guesstimate my bend here. First, you can always take this and uh, kind of kind of take a look at where you're at. So I'll just kind of work this um, into place here. Um, I'll put it on fast forward so you don't have to watch me fiddle so much, but uh, you kind of get the idea. I bend this so that it sits inside this groove um, pretty nicely. Alright, once you got it sitting kind of like this here, um, <clears throat> it's time to uh, bend out the back end, which is this um, kind of shape here. So um, I've been just keeping everything about the width of the front bends here. So I just come in here, part doesn't need to be too exact. Um, there's going to be something holding it together like this, that, this little back piece. So, <clears throat> now that's like this, we can bend our little um, prongs in. chop them off. This wire is very hard to cut. So make sure you have some good wire uh, cutters. Get a little bit more off there. Alright. So, let's get this one bent a little bit better. There. So now we have this. Um, we've got to bend this little piece now. So, with one of your little scraps, um, I think I'm going to use regular 
fires for this part. Just bend a complete round. bend the other side so you can mark with a pencil or whatever or a sharpie but let's see if this into straight here. Okay. And if this thing's a little crooked, you can bend it straight to All right. so you got your bottom part down there Which I'm going to cut a little bit more off of these because they're on each other when I close it. Okay. So. There we go. This back hinge you really want to be nice and even because that's what the so the top's going to hinge off of. <clears throat> okay, so we've got this part pretty well done. Leave that put together there. Now we can bend the top part. So I'm just going to take the gasket off. Get yourself another piece. Sometimes it's hard to find the free end here. There it is. <clears throat> All right. So let's got those two done. Now let's work on this one. So this one's pretty simple. Um, it's just kind of there's a little bit of a angle on that. If you look at it from the side, and that just helps the lid stay closed. So that'll be important. <clears throat> um, same thing. You just uh, bend a right angle. Each side, like so. <clears throat> and then I straighten it out again, just a little bit. And then we're going to put that little um, curve in there. Like that. Got that bent. Come down here. Use my right 
triangle here. I'm just going to come off of that. <clears throat> so we've got that part, and then you just do the same thing. Kind of go around the edge. So I'll fast forward through this. Once you get this um, bent like this, um, we're going to go ahead and make our <coughs> back hinge. So that's this part here. So looks like it's a bend like that. Since this is going to meet up with this back angle here, let me make sure it's a similar size or similar distance apart here because these rings will fit inside of that. So, um, yeah. some straightening up there. Uh, I need to reset this camera since we're uh, just about, actually it's only 22 minutes so. <clears throat> yeah that should work. So I'm going to put the um, gasket on and then kind of eyeball the measurements here. I know that doesn't help you much, but it should make sense here in a second. So the idea is to bend it down um, so that it'll meet right about there so it'll swing. Uh, let me grab that little piece and I'm not flying. Alright. <clears throat> Just so we can see what we're doing. Alright. So now we are gonna uh, bend this part down. So I'm just kinda eyeballing it. I was gonna have to sit like that, so we're gonna go about like that. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that should work. Alright, and then these are Bends. It's hard to do on there, so I'll take that off. Bend the loop. The other 
side. Another loop. these off here. Just like that. And we can kind of try this this out here. Let's put this on first. sure that it can go fairly square there. Okay. So, you look at it this way, see they're kind of going to the side, so we're just going to fix that up. straight something more like that and then um, just kind of pinch these closed so we actually do need to cut just a wee bit more off of these Reason being, um, we need to be able to slip uh, Jesus. We need to be able to slip these on one at a time like that. starting to come together. All right, uh, I'm gonna reset this camera because there's only three minutes left and it's probably gonna take me more than that to bend these little parts here. So um, reset the camera and uh, we'll get back to it. All right, back to it. <clears throat> now these two parts. Um, let's see, let's put this back together for a minute. So they basically are the thing that tensions the lid. So two parts. Okay, we got that one and that one. So we'll tackle the tough one first. It's got a double loop here. Definitely going to want more than you need on this one just because um, to make these little loops you got to have quite a lot of um, extra leverage there. So it starts off with just, this is just a um, straight angle there. So it's starting in the middle of the bend. Okay. And then these straight so they don't interfere with each other while you're doing your loops. <clears throat> okay. So 
So now, when you bend this, the loop goes, the bend goes around the outside. So that's an important uh, little distinction there. So you just bend around the outside. And then it's not quite 180 degrees. It's just a, it's just a little bit less. So you know, maybe 160 degrees. You need that for the leverage. So when you're bending this, don't bend it all the way. You can always adjust that loop later. Once again, around the outside. Like that. Starting to, starting to look familiar there. And then it's got two almost 90 degree bends there. These are flat pliers and chop. And chop. So let's on for now time for the last piece now this is just the straight uh, bend there's no loops or anything um, so we will just uh, how about it here? So once again, just start off in the middle. Something like that. Now this piece has to be wider than this piece, or just about right. Otherwise, it's not going to be able to lock into place. Okay. So we got that bend there. And bends back out. Something like that. It doesn't have to be too perfect. Alright. You'd be amazed at the uh, kind of latitude you have with the uh, bends on these wires, so. Um, eventually, I'll probably make a wiring jig for this, uh, just so it's easier to bend them. But um, for now, this has been working just fine, just uh, bending by hand. All right. And we just need to bring these bad boys in. Has like another little bend there. Cut that off. Oops, 
inside my little See if this all works. Moment of truth, right? Okay. Put that in. Put that in. Uh oh. It's not tight enough. Well, this is easy to fix because all that we need to do is adjust the length of this right here. So, we can just bend it in, like that, trim it again, let's see if this works, alright, ooh, Ooh, that's close. Um, it stays closed and all, but we want a little bit more springitude. So, <clears throat> just give this another shortening. Let's see what we got this time. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> yep, that's good. That's a good one. So, it's, it's kind of riding to the side here because we didn't get these perfectly lined up. So what we can do is um, try to adjust this wire here. Come in a little bit more maybe. Oops, let's put it on backwards. There we go. A little bit better. Kind of slides into place. But yeah, you, know, you get the, the gist of it. This is just kind of a fun little fun little uh, project you can do, not too serious, but makes a, a nice little addition to, uh, to a bottled form. And then you can, you can do this on bigger jars too, I've got some of those um, in the works. Um, it's just that the seal, um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make this out of, um, like bathroom caulking silicone, um, and it's hard to do that and have it look nice, so, still working on that, but, 
I'll let you guys know if that ever comes about. Yeah. So yeah, that should uh, be nice and tight and hold water. It's a simple wire top enclosure. Nothing too fancy. Uh, looks like we did it in about 35 minutes, so not too bad. Anyway, thanks for watching.